another year, another Purge movie, so we get to talk about it. Purge election year. The Purge election year is the third Purge movie in this Purge series of movies and shit that we got coming out this Friday. And you know the gist of the Purge by now. This is one day out of the year for 12 hours. Crime, murder, mayhem, illegal and shit like that. So people get to release the beast and act all crazy, animalistic and all, all, all type of havoc. Like, you know, the American thing like that. We get to watch it again. That's what us Americans do. If it comes to murder and mayhem and shit, that's our cup of tea. And thus we have the Purge. Right, but it's the movie good. I, I want to say that I had a good time with this movie. I feel like if you enjoyed the last Purge movie, The Purge Anarchy, you'll go in this movie and pretty much have about the same amount of good time you had with that movie. And there is enjoyment to be had with this movie, you're just sitting back and you're watching all this shit go down and everything, even though it's really right now in the realm of like, yeah, that shit would never happen. I bet, unless Donald Trump becomes president, and then five years, Purge happened it. Just say it. Anything that you probably didn't like about the last Purge movie, you're gonna probably carry over to this Purge movie by the same time. I mean, all the fun you had with the last Purge movie is more or less in this Purge movie, just with a few things that a bit up a little bit. You know, the third movie had to outdo the second movie and shit, so that's election year. With that being said, it goes to the pros and cons, but I believe that the Purge election year comes out this Friday. If you got some time on your hand to go check this movie out, I think you'll have a good time with it. Here's why. First off, acting of the movie, I'm gonna just breeze through this real quick. My man Crossbone, awesome as shit. That yes, our hero from the last first movie is back in this movie and he still looks good as hell while just killing the shit out of all type of people. And the crew he had this time in this movie, they're pretty likable, they're pretty fucked when they get the job done. They kill people that need to be killed because they're shitheads like that. And so Crossbow and his Thunderbolts, they're leading the pack this time in our election year movie and they were pretty good. They got the job done, you root for them, you're like, yeah, I like this crew. The movie follows our new character, I'm gonna call her Madam Senator because she's running for president and everything. And after seeing her family get murdered by the events of the Purge two, three years ago, she's like, you know what? I think this purge just needs to go. I think that's a good thing. Let's just make the purge go away. So she's running for president, and her first role of president is to just eliminate the purge, and the founding fathers can't have that shit. My father pretty much just like, you know what? No, we can't have her cancel the purge. We can't make more purge money. We can't keep making purge movies, so we gotta stop her. Killer stop the purge. Uh, so through a series of events, Crossbone and his thunderbolts are there to protect Madam Senator from the events of the night of the purge, more or less. And there you have your survival movie. If it doesn't sound familiar, just pretty much take the plot of the last movie and just put it in this movie, just with a new set of people and Madam Senator. So that and a lot more crazy folks in this movie, because oh my god, the crazies come out in this movie. We'll get to the action in the movie. The action in the movie, while it's not super, super action packed, it's pretty much like, you know, generically yeah, blowing your brains out kind of action type shit. There are a few scenes where I do feel the movie does try to up, you know, one up the second movie and everything. And you know, more blood, more gore, more, you know, oh my god, like sh that person just got murdered in that insane way type deal. Yeah. Uh, I will say there was two characters in the movie, these two shithead ass characters, two characters that when they just get on the scene, you're just like, I hope you guys just die. Uh, when the two characters do get killed, you're just like, God bless America. The only context I see about the movie is that there are a few plot holes riddled throughout the movie where you're gonna kind of be like, wait a minute, if, if that happened, th th but then how did that happen? Movie, how did that happen? How? And like I said, more or less in this grand scheme of things, pretty much is the Purge Anarchy just on a different day, more or less, with a different set of characters. Nothing too new in this movie, but it's the same time, it's still enjoyable to watch. But I warn you, if you didn't like the Purge Anarchy, then I suggest you avoid this movie, because it's more or less the same movie, just with different characters and more crazy folks. At the end of the day, the Purge election year comes out this Friday. I feel like if you enjoyed the last Purge movie, then you'll go to this movie and be like, it's still a good time at the movies. I do enjoy seeing this Purge shit happen, even though that probably would never happen. Ever. Uh, unless Donald Trump becomes president, and then yeah, the purge is definitely happening in five years. Your cast in the movie pretty functional, the action in the movie pretty tolerable, and there's some parts in the movie where it just even outdoes the last movie. Well, and I will feel like you'll walk out of this movie be like, you know what, I definitely have a little bit more appreciation for the story this purge movies, these purge movies are going for, in the sense that, yeah, the purge sucks and the Purge is no good for nobody. So with that being said, I'll say that the Purge election year is indeed a seven out of 10, which is worth seeing at matinee. Got a free Friday night, five bucks on you, go see the Purge election year, you'll have a good time with it, why not? Purge election year, it comes out this Friday. What do you think about it? If you wanna go see the movie, put a comment down, let me know, just talk about the Purge election year, because it comes out Friday. If you're gonna go see it, hope you enjoy. And as always guys, subscribe. Until next time.